Holy heck, the hair loss world is in for an absolute treat. Only a number of days ago, the Clascoderone, aka Brazula, phase three trial results were released and they've been pretty damn promising. So, as both a hair loss doctor and someone that has endured the last 10 years of an androgenic alopecia journey myself, I'm going to bring you the results today and I'm going to discuss the key findings that have been released I'm going to discuss the safety findings that have been released and I'm going to discuss what the next steps are, what the implications are and whether or not I believe this could be the next and third only ever FDA approved drug for treating androgenic alopecia pattern hair loss. Alright so if we haven't already connected I'm Dr Jonathan Hopkirk, Sydney based hair loss doctor and founder of Levels of You, an Australian based hair restoration company that treats people across Australia on a daily basis. As you can see, I am now in my nursery mode. I'm a father of only two weeks. A young little baby wolf was born last week, so I am now getting used to the lack of sleep and trying to keep up with these videos as well because I want to continue to deliver new information and solid knowledge to you guys on an ongoing basis. So bear with me if these videos aren't as polished as previous. If you think that less polished is good, please comment and give me that understanding. All right, into today's video, class codeurone. So if you haven't checked in and on my videos previously on class codeurone, aka Bazula, I suggest you watching this video now to get a good understanding on what this is. But just briefly, it is a topical anti-androgen. So what that means is it is a drug that once it gets into the tissue, it blocks the androgen receptor on the hair follicle or the dermal papilla cell. Now that is where this androgen receptor on the follicle, so if this is the androgen receptor, this is the port, if you like, where the DHT ship comes and docks. Now, when that DHT ship docks, it shrinks the dock, and then that's what we know as the process called miniaturization. Now, what Clascoderone does, or Brazula, is it acts as a little bit of a blockade. So it comes and lands and docks in this androgen receptor itself, and so then ships like DHT cannot come and dock there when there's something already bound in the dock. So that's a bit of an analogy I use with patients. This would be the first ever topical anti-androgen drug. Now the benefits of it is that because it doesn't reduce DHT systemically, it doesn't reduce DHT levels, then there's a far lower chance of sexual side effects and that's what we will jump into today. So let's jump into these amazing findings. Hot off the press just recently, although not published in journal articles and peer-reviewed journal style, but Data released by Cosmo Pharmaceuticals, the company that is that is doing the trials on Clascoderone, have released data only a couple of days ago about their phase three trials. Now their phase three trials, which is the final trial before FDA approval, just for your knowledge, if you want more of an understanding around what the phases of these trials are, then I suggest you tune into this video here that I've done to give you a better understanding around the regulatory process. But they have done phase three trials across the US and Europe on 1,465 men with male pattern hair loss. Now these men were above 18 years of age. There was a mixture of different Norwood scales or different degrees of hair loss, and it was done over a 12 month period. Now the way the study was designed is that in the first six months, you have a placebo group and you have the group that receives the Clascoderone 5% daily. Now what happened is everyone is blinded to who receives what. So the patients don't know if they're getting Clascoderone or the placebo and the, uh, and the researchers have no idea of who's getting Clascoderone or, or the placebo and that prevents bias. So it gives you a really good true understanding around what this drug is capable of. So it's a randomized control, double blind trial for six months. Then what happened at the six month mark is they continued the trial for another six months, but then the investigators are aware of who is getting a placebo and who is getting the actual drug class coderon, because this gives them a good understanding to be able to survey for things like safety related issues, things like sexual related side effects or any systemic side effects or any side effects at that. So they can have a good understanding around what is attributed to placebo and what is attributed to the actual drug. So that's how the study was done. What did they find? There's essentially two different study groups here. There was scalp one and then there was scalp two. Each of these had a placebo arm and each of these had the active ingredient Clascoderone arm. Now what they found on scalp one is that there was an increase in total area hair count of 539% over this 12 month period. So that's five time gain in hair count versus placebo. Now the second group scalp two didn't score as well. There's a 1.68 or 168% increase versus placebo in total area hair count. So that's nearly two times better than placebo. So yes, there's a little bit of variation there. 
and a pooled analysis of the two groups together was said to basically reveal a 252% increase versus placebo. Now they also looked at self-reported improvements and those that were using the class code and reported improved density, better self-reported results and cosmetic benefits over those using the placebo topical solution. So these are great results. These are promising results and this is an exciting prospect for those who are either not wanting to use systemic DHT reducing agents like finasteride or dutasteride and it's also exciting for those that might have reached their limit or their peak of what they've been able to achieve with other agents. So it's a very exciting prospect. What did the safety show? What was the safety data? Well, the safety data was very encouraging. There was no change or no difference in the report and adverse effects between the placebo group and the class codone groups. So that's really encouraging because what we want to know is, is there going to be any systemic absorption? Are there going to be any changes systemically in which there might be blockade of other androgen receptors around the body? And what they've shown thus far is that the safety data has been really good, really promising. So that's an exciting prospect as well. We can hold on to the hope that it could be a topical anti-androgen without any other issues like libido issues of erectile dysfunction that can be seen with finasteride or dutasteride. So then, what is my take on this as someone who treats hair loss on a daily basis in the medical space? Well, this is really encouraging. It's exciting to see such a big study on a large number of people. And it's exciting to see that the safety data was good and it was good to see that it reported such strong results. I would be intrigued to know why group two didn't do as well as group one or scalp two didn't do as good as scalp one, but time will tell once we have the actual published data on this in journal format so it can be peer reviewed. I think the other encouraging thing is, is that, well, this is phase three trial. So given this gets approved, of which that could be submitted by the end or the mid to end of 2026, this drug could potentially be available within say the next couple of years, which is very, very exciting for us all. Is this something that you've read up on? Is this something that you have further questions on? I'm open to doing a Q&A on this because it is a very, very exciting uh, new breakthrough in the hair loss world. It could be the first ever FDA approved drugs since the 90s and it will be the first ever topical anti-androgen. So if you have comments please post below. If you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel please be feel more than welcome to do so if you think I'm going to be able to bring continued value to you of which I endeavour to. Otherwise I look forward to bringing you new videos next week and hope you're well and having a good week. Cheers.